so hey everyone this is Karan here back with a new video today in this video let me show you one thing you can see the android version R and security patch of 5th of March 2020 Google Play system R yes this is android 11 developer preview which we have just installed in our redmi note 8 how to install this from if you're android lover and you want to try the newest newest builds of android versions then you can install the gsi and develop the builds on your device i'm using redmi note 8 this time and i have installed android r or you can say android 11 because there is no name of android 11 yet so as expected it should be from android it should be from alphabet r that's why it is android version r and when you click here you will not see any easter egg here security patch of 5th of march what are the new things you get in this gsi or in this android 11 preview everything in this video how to install this on a xiaomi me note 8 or almost all devices i will try to show you everything so make sure you watch this video till the end now let's get straight to the video okay so let's take a look at it first of all look at the wallpaper this is a gsi so you will get only system dot image and you have to firstly install android 10 based any custom room on your on your device and after that you have to wipe all the partitions and install the system dot image and simply reboot i will try to show you the installation process also so firstly let us look at the things you can see the launcher when you go to home settings wait when you go to home settings you get these three options only you can see this is i think a pixel launcher inbuilt which don't have about info etc the icons are by default at square shape or rectangular rectangular shape actually and by swiping down you get the notification panel here and also you can see the developer build r r p p one etc build number already available you can customize the quick tiles from here and these are the options you get here location hotspot invert colors data saver dark theme night light gray scale these are the things you get here and i don't think so it is customizable yes it is not customizable also now let's move back to other things what are the other things let's let's tell you some bugs first of all the home screen gesture is not working yes home screen is not working you can go back by swiping right or swiping left this can be fixed there is a fix available for home screen gesture but i have not fixed it i've just installed it i am showing you in this video the camera is not broken in my case it is working so if you are using any other phone i cannot show you there's another thing you get is feedback yes if you are using actually android beta you can see thank you for participating in the android beta program the program has concluded at this time and we are no longer accepting feedback via this app so you can close this app or uninstall this is the app you get while you install this android 11 gsi on your device the file manager is same gmail is almost almost all apps are same you get youtube and youtube music app by default yes youtube music nice let's move to settings now network and internet you don't have any volte option you don't have wi-fi calling option so these both things are broken and not fixed yet when you go to battery these are the options you get here no extra things in display you can customize the dark theme dark theme you can schedule to turn on from sunset to sunshine or turn on at custom time okay so only one thing is here let's go back to other things in sound storage privacy all things are same digital well-being is broken yes digital well-being and parental controls not working this app is not working it is broken there is a bug here and system etc you have the option of system update you can see android version r with security patch of 5th of march 2020 yes it is just released yesterday and i have just installed it on my device to just check out if you are a lover like me of android and want to check out new builds then you can go and install it now let me show you the installation process as you can see home just is not working so there's a bug and some bugs you will find surely when you install this room and you can see the google search bar is changed now it looks nice okay so now let's move on to installation process as you can see there is no advanced reboot option of course not so we will boot into recovery manually <laughs> okay 
just boot into your custom recovery manually if you are using redmi note 8 or if you are using any other custom any other device you just have to boot into recovery once okay this guide applies to almost all devices I am using Android, Android, uh, Redmi Note 8, you can use on any other device also. First thing what you have to do is you have to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik catch system, don't flood, don't wipe vendor, Dalvik catch system or you can wipe data if you want to or you can even select partitions wipe all just for simply wipe all these partitions if you want to for once this was the step one wipe all the partitions just go back go to install my device internal storage is broken so I have to format data once uh, okay just wait let it let it be go to install install any Android 10 based custom room Android 10 based custom room let us take an example by flashing pixel experience on my Redmi Note 8 just go to swipe to confirm flash okay wait for it to flash properly you have to flash Android 10 based custom room in your device in whichever device you are using I am using Redmi Note 8 I am using Android 10 based custom room pixel experience I have used to flash this you can use any other custom room also if you want to it is just for testing purpose it was the first developer preview it is not meant for daily daily usage at all okay so keep in mind you cannot use this as your daily driver as of now at least not but after some another um, other builds some other updates i think this would be stable soon which is a good thing if you are if you have a travel supported device then this guide will work for you and if you have any other device which is not travel supported just make sure to google about that and you can do whatever you want to do as you can see let us wait to install properly this it is installing system image unconditionally after that just follow my steps I will try to show you everything make sure you don't skip any part and if you miss I will not be responsible for anything happen to your device as you can see patching system image unconditionally is done now it is patching my vendor image and it will take some seconds yes it's almost done now patching vendor image unconditionally there were some bugs like volti not working magisk is also not working i just forgot to tell you the magisk is also not working no issues at here as you can see everything the room was installed now just go to wipe again advanced wipe dalvik catch system underscore root yes all these three partitions swipe to wipe you have to wipe all these three partitions just go back again go to install and here you have to select that image file system.image go here go to system.image swipe to confirm flash this is this system image is for everyone who using Android uh, who are using treble supported Android device this system image for, is for everyone if you have a non treble supported device I cannot show you about that I am not sure about that but if you have a treble supported device if you are using Redmi Note 8 then I am using Redmi Note 8 so you can follow my steps and if you are using any other device then you can just go and follow my steps simple simple follow my steps or you can install the custom room and return based according to your device and then you have to follow my steps like system dot image flashing you can see it will take some time I'm not showing you everything just it will take some time and after that you have to format data simply reboot everything will be done this is how you can install Android Q or and sorry Android 11 or Android R on your device so this was all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching goodbye see you in the next video